Colin, against the run for North Texas, very high numbers at stopping the run. What did you guys focus on as far as creating holes for the running backs? Uh, we just had to get our aim points down and uh, how, how we kind of were blocking our, our techniques. And uh, that's stuff we weren't really as focused, I guess, on during Maryland. We kind of went back and evaluated how we did that and what we were doing. And so had to come out and attack them. What do you think the biggest key this week preparing for Iowa to keep that consistency and uh, try and mimic what happened on Saturday? Uh, just trying to save uh, pretty you know, equal run and pass, uh, get the ball in the space, uh, whatever they give us, and we'll kind of you know, make some gaps in there for our running backs to run to. Going t- uh, at Iowa against the Hawkeyes, a team that the Hoosiers have had some success against in the past, w- what do you tell some of these younger guys heading into that type of environment for the first time? You know, they they put their pants on one leg at a time. So, I mean, it's one of those things where it's, you know, they're big, stout, you know, they can play hard. But, you know, that's what we train to do, too. You mentioned the balance that the offense has had with the running success on top of what uh, Nate's able to do in the passing game. How much does the passing success really open things up for D'Angelo and Tevin and guys like that? You know, it takes a couple guys out of the box. You know, if they're not worried about the pass, then they can bring down the safeties a couple closer. But, I mean, when we got the deep balls working, the intermediate routes working, then they have to kind of respect that. So then it opens up a little bit more room for our guys to run.